welcome to our channel circuits analytica in this video we will discuss problem which is displayed on the screen so the problem is to find the value of vx and ix after combining multiple resistors and multiple sources so first step is to mark the nodes present in this network here there are two nodes marked node p and node r this network consists of three current sources 4 ampere and 6 ampere pointing towards node p and 1 ampere current source pointing towards node r all these three current sources are connected between node p and node r that means they are connected in shunt so now we are going to redraw the circuit all the three current sources shaded in green color are connected between node p and node r so all the three current sources are connected in shunt we can replace these three current sources with a single current source of value 9 ampere so 4 ampere and 6 ampere current sources are pointing towards node p while 1 ampere current source is pointing towards node r therefore effective value of current is 9 ampere so now let us redraw the circuit so here in this diagram there is only one current source whose value is equal to 9 ampere pointing towards node p so the two resistors shown in the green colored box are connected in shunt so we can replace these two resistors with a single resistance of value 6 ohms 10 ohms is in shunt with 15 ohms so effective value of resistance is equal to 10 into 15 divided by 10 plus 15 so 150 divided by 26 so effective value is equal to 6 ohms similarly resistors shown in red colored box are also connected in shunt so we can replace the parallel combination of 20 ohms and 5 ohms with a single resistance of value 4 ohms so now the circuit is reduced to a network which consists of a single current source and four resistors so again we can combine the series combination of resistors 14 ohms and 6 ohms and 6 ohms and 4 ohms redrawing the diagram after combining 14 ohms and 6 ohms and 4 ohms and 6 ohms we will get this network now let us apply current division rule to find the value of i2 and vx so here the equivalent value of resistance is equal to r1 r2 the whole divided by r1 plus r2 so vx is equal to 9 into r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 current i2 is equal to vx divided by r2 that is i2 is equal to 9 into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 so we will get i2 is equal to 6 ampere and as ix is equal to minus i2 we will get ix is equal to minus 6 ampere vx is equal to i2 into r2 
so vx is equal to i2 into 10 ohms so we will get vx is equal to 60 volt thanks for watching circuits analytica enjoy learning